I'm here to meet two gentlemen who are conquering in Kenya's tech space that is largely dominated by multinationals and foreigners. Now, how did they make it and how did they get funding for their business? Let's find out. This is Founders Connect Africa. Hi, how are you? You're well? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Asante sana. This place looks very nice. Yeah. How did Wowzi start? Yeah, so Wowzi is a combination of three, three minds, so three um, Kenyans. So there's myself, uh, Brian Mogeni, and uh, Dr. Hassan Bashir. We call it the combination of the, you know, energy of the youth and uh, a bit of grey hair. So it's a very good co combination um, of three people. So I'm 31, uh, Brian is 27, uh, Dr. Bashir is about 66. So tell us, what exactly does your tech space do? All right, so yeah. Wowzi is a platform that connects businesses and social media users. Uh, we can all see that the world is moving digital and we saw that big, big opportunity. So it's a multi-sided platform, which on the one hand, any business can be able to create uh, advertising campaigns. On the other hand, um, social media users, or what is typically known as influencers, are able to accept um, advertising gigs from brands and execute them. Uh, by posting on their social media and therefore earning from it. Okay. So to the SME, it's an opportunity to advertise in a way that is uh, cost effective um, with measurable ROI. To the uh, influencer, mostly young people, it's an opportunity to earn a bit more extra income. What influencers are you working with? Is it micro, is it macro? Yeah. yeah. Um, so we, we have a belief in Wowzi, and the belief is everybody has influence and everybody can be an influencer. Our platform has a way of categorizing influencers from what we call nano influencers, micro, mega, meta, mm -hmm. and even super influencers. So I can give examples of both. Yeah. I'm a nano influencer, for example. Mm -hmm. I only have my friends, family, and peers following me. Yes. Uh, but I'm influential in my sphere as a technology innovator. At the same time, you might have your um, Eric Omondi, for example. He's a meta influencer in our platform. So he uh, has many, many mm -hmm. um, followers. But then you also have uh, what I would call super influencers. Someone like Lupita Nyong'o, mm. who is Kenyan, but is followed by, I don't know, yeah, seven, yeah. eight million people. Yeah. So each of these people in their sphere of influence are very influential. Mm. I'll give a simple example. We were working with a major energy uh, company and we wanted to figure out um, how, who's the most influential person when it comes to selling of engine oil. And the reality is it's your mechanic. Um, right? The mechanic may not have many followers, mm -hmm. but when you take your car to them, uh, you probably just pay them after, but they're the ones who will decide which oil to put. So if Total, uh, for example, or Shell, or I don't know, BP, whatever the oil company, if they wanted to think about influence, they need to think about it totally differently. And these are some of the use cases that we're enabling for agencies and brands to start thinking about influence in a totally fresh and unique way. Oh, that's very interesting. I even forgot to take my coffee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But now it's time. Like, we, can, we can have a break as yeah. I wait for your um, other colleague to tell me more Definitely. about the yeah. business. Yeah. Thank, thank, thank you for your much. time. Hello, hi Brian, how are you? Hey, hey, hey. Can good, you good, good, good. good. Yeah. Very important. Thank you. Very important. Very important. Yeah. Ah, thank no. you for having and sparing some time with me. I've seen that you've been 
quite busy today. Ah, anytime, anytime. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I recall meeting you about a year and a half. So it's a good half, to catch yeah? up. Yes. It's good to catch up. <laughs> it's good to catch up. Yeah. So I met the colleague Mike. Yes, yes, yes. About how you, what was he started a bit. Mm -hmm. um, so what do we want to get from you is probably a bit of how um, the system works. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. was the mm -hmm. platform. Okay. And um, the financing bit of it. Okay. Um, maybe you can tell us more about how you finance. But let's start with the system. Yeah. Yeah. Real pleasure. Um, I, I love the show. I think it's a great initiative. Um, you know, we can only drive change through through creating jobs and opportunities. So I like the fact that you're supporting that. Um, but yeah, I think to talk about Wowzy. So at the same time, you know, we consume a lot of products on social media um, from people who we follow. Um, it's a natural behavior um, where we're, you're very similar to your friends. Yeah. You go to the same restaurants. Yes. Um, you probably buy the same type of goods. Um, so with Wowzy as a platform, it's, it's a multi-sided platform. Um, that is that we've designed it to get rid of the pain points of influencer marketing as a channel. This is something that goes, you know, up to the 15th century. Uh, it's existed, it's nothing new. It's how could we make it better, uh, easier, faster for all stakeholders within. Um, and we've built two platforms that communicate together and work together as Wowzy. On one end, we have uh, an influencer uh, app, which is available on Play Store uh, to download. Um, and on the other side, we have uh, um, a web application um, where any agency, um, any business um, can go and create a campaign, something that used to take three months, sometimes three weeks. Um, once the creative and the strategic thought of, of, of either the business owner of either the, the agencies, the leads in the agency is carried out, the execution of the campaign is much, much easier. Um, so that's what that platform does, yeah. Let's uh, go to the big question, of course, yeah. the money. Okay. Um, we just started how much invested in it. Yeah, so, so yeah, we, we actually started out just at the three, uh, you know, tightening up our belts a bit and putting our money, putting our money where our mouth is. So that's how we began. We actually delivered a product without any investment. Um, but at the same time now, as we look to scale uh, and, and double down on, on Kenya and grow, and grow out, of our, out of the country, um, we've, we've, we've also added, uh, you know, there's, you know you, you, you could, if you want to go far, you go together. You don't go alone. Um, there's a, a nice mix of individuals who've supported us in our idea. Um, yeah, and I think, I think it's uh, with, 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 with fundraising, I think if you're fixing a big problem um, with a big solution, um, it, it, it can attract uh, funding, yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. What would be your advice to young people who are planning and building yeah. ideas and want to mm -hmm. get to a tax space that they don't know how to start? Great question. I'm extremely passionate uh, about that and, and supporting youth. Uh, it's not an easy journey. Um, um, what, what my advice would be, would be three things. I think the most important thing is to start. Um, ideas are 10%, no matter how great it is, we're seven plus billion in this world. Uh, there's someone who's bound to be thinking like you. What really matters is the execution. That's the 90%, so, so start. Um, I would also advise people to talk to people. Um, you know, don't keep your idea to yourself. Don't think that this is, oh, someone's gonna steal it. Talk to a few people, it's very important. It helps yeah. you see things that you didn't see. Yeah. Um, and at the same time, I'm, you're not solving the problem for yourself. Um, yeah, then, and then the last thing is, is complement your strength. So, you know, you know, back to my first po point, yeah. if you want to go for you go together. Um, so, you know, build a team that you're aligned with values. Values are very important. Um, and then complement each other and, uh, and, and keep moving. Keep it moving. How is and why is that there are so many foreigners in the tax space? Is that, is that Kenyans? And highly told individuals don't believe in the tax space so much. Mm -hmm. We don't see a lot of adverts on the tax space. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, we see a lot of people selling land. You know? <laughs> tell me. Every morning. Tell me, every morning. <laughs> I've been sold land somewhere. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, the, um, I think it, 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 it's something that, that, that is, uh, but it's, it's not what is, uh, if I can put it like that. Um, the, the reasons why we might see that is at the same time globally uh, access to, to, to you know, good schools, good institutions um, um, and access to real problem sets you know, that, that you can be proven so that you can actually uh, you know, come and deliver. Um, 
And, and I've also had the privilege of working with a lot of global internet companies in, in my past and, and being exposed to, to, to this, this, what you're referring to. Yeah. Um, and I think change begins with us. Um, there's a, a lot of young, smart people here in Africa. There's actually multitudes of African startups that are, uh, are growing very exponentially amidst COVID um, by start by Africans in Kenya, in Nigeria. So it is happening. I think we need, we need it to happen faster. Um, and I think forums like the ones that you have for Founders Connect Africa help that, you know, help encourage the person who's at home, who is thinking about his idea. So I, 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 think, I think that narrative is changing. There's, there's a lot of businesses that are, and I think that's what we should actually talk about. Uh, the, the, the African businesses that are changing this world. We can quickly see what what you know, uh, a few of the African businesses such as Celluland, such as Flutterwave in Nigeria have done. Mike told me that you're 28. Yeah, I'm 20, 20, 20, almost 27, almost 27, yeah. And you have done so much for yourself, you know? So how did you mm -hmm. manage to have done all this for yourself? I think the last time we met you, you were also in a technology company. Yes, 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 yes. And here you are creating more um, ideas mm -hmm. at your age, mm -hmm. you know? Thank you, thank you, thank you for the for the kind words. Um, I think I think for me it's it's something that started a long time ago. Yeah. Um, I I love creating value. I recall buying sweets uh, as a thirteen year old for hundred shillings, and selling them in school for 900, 800 shillings daily, <laughs> um, and just for the fun of it, just for the love the love of it. Of um, and uh, as, as, you know, as time has gone, um, at, at still at quite a young age, uh, you know, I, I, technology was starting to pick up um, and, and it, I, I loved technology uh, and I loved the opportunity to create uh, value through technology and, you know, impact people. Sometimes you can create opportunity for someone, you know, in Eldoret or in, in, in Garissa or in Meru. Um, and and you you ha you want you sometimes you can't meet everyone, but just the thought that you've you know created value for someone and added something positive to their life drives me. Um, yeah, so so I think uh, that you know good mentorship, um, you know uh, being being driven. Um, I played sports when I was younger as well. Um, actually, almost uh, almost went professional. But, but I think uh, football, I'm a big uh, football fan. Uh, Aguna, I have to you know, shout out the, the Arsenal fan. Yes. I know this is not the best time, but we, we're, still, we're still representing. Yes. Yes. Um, and, I, and I think in the early days, sports also taught me you know, mm -hmm. the basic things that, that, that helped me today. Discipline, hard work, um, you know, being empathetic, teamwork. Um, and uh, yeah, don't, 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 don't uh, sit down, don't look back too much uh, yeah. and keep going. Um, yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Thank you so much. Yeah. Mm. Great, huh? Thank you. Uh, that was dope. Yeah, that was dope. Yeah. Thank you that so dope. much. That was Thank fun. You so much, I think.